Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMama.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and the system. In this lesson we're going to study decimal numbers that have two decimal digits, that is hundredths. I draw here a number line from 0 to 1 and a little bit beyond. And initially the number line is divided into 10 parts. These are these bigger tick marks here are for the tenths. So here's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, and so on. And as you already know, one tenth is written as 0 0.1, or five tenths is written as 0 0.5 here, and so on. And now hundredths come about this way. We will take each interval of one tenth and divide it further into ten new parts, as you see me having done here, and here, and here, and here. So those teeny little intervals are hundredths, okay? Now let's see how they are written as decimals. For example, this very first line after the zero line, the very first line there would be one hundredth. As a fraction, you know, it's written like this. One hundredth. As a decimal, it is 0 0.01. Okay, the second digit after the decimal point is the hundredths place. Now here is my seventh line after zero, and that would be seven hundredths. Seven hundredths, which is 0 0.07, right? This number here in the hundredths place tells you how many hundredths. And this number tells you how many tenths. So when we come here, and here's the tick mark for five tenths, and we go three little lines beyond that. So we add three hundredths to it, and then we have five tenths and three hundredths, right? We would have here five tenths, and then three hundredths. But we read this number as 53 hundredths. Instead of reading it as five tenths and three hundredths, we read it as 53 hundredths, because it is. You see, here would be ten hundredths, here is another ten hundredths, another, another, another. So up to five tenths, if it was divided into those little pieces, we would have fifty hundredths up to this point, and then three hundredths more, so it is fifty-three hundredths. While at the same time it is also five tenths and three hundredths. Now here, I am here at 0 0.9, or 9 tenths, and then I go 8 little lines further, 8 little increments, 8 hundredths further. So I would be at 9 tenths and 8 hundredths. But we read that as 98 hundredths, because it is 98 hundredths. If this whole thing was divided into hundredths, and you would count them all up to this line, you would have 98. Now here, I am 3 lines beyond 1.1. So the decimal will be 1.13. There's 1, 1 tenth, and 3 hundredths. As a fraction or mixed number, I would write 1 and 13 hundredths. Now let's look at hundredths also in these visual models. And of course, students are used to writing fractions out of these, so let's do that. This whole thing is divided into hundred parts, and four are colored, so it is four hundredths. As a decimal now, 0 0.04. Here we have 40 and 1, 41 hundredths. As a decimal, 0 0.41. We read this either as 0 0.41 or as 41 hundredths. Here I have 14 hundredths colored, so it is written as 0 0.14. Okay? 14 hundredths or 0 0.14. Now, I want to explain again the idea what I was talking about here, how this is both 53 hundredths and 5 tenths and 3 hundredths. But this time we're going to look at this. Let's look at 3 tenths. This picture shows us 3 tenths. But if I divide it further, you will see it is also 30 hundredths, right? Let's say I divide it into hundredths, see? There we go, it's divided into hundredths now, so it is also 30 hundredths at the same time. As a decimal, I will write this as 0 0.3, 3 tenths. 
but it is also 30 hundredths, which I write this way, 30 hundredths, okay? And one more time, if you consider 3 tenths, it is over here on the number line, but it is also all these hundredths, 30 hundredths. There's 10 and 10 and 10 hundredths, so there's also 30 hundredths, okay? Now from this, we will also see that the zero here, the decimal zero tagged on after a decimal, it does not change its value at all, okay? I could even add more zeros, it would not change its value. Here, we will change the decimals into fractions and vice versa. This is a decimal, we read it as 39 hundredths, so that's how it is as a fraction. Very simple. This is read as 8 hundredths, right? Here's 3, and then 27 hundredths. This is 24 hundredths, and write it as a decimal, so I got 0 0.24. Here, as a mixed number, again, 5, the whole number part is the same. Then there is 3 hundredths, right? Not 3 tenths, but 3 hundredths. But now this time I have 5, my whole number, and then this is the digit for tenths, so I have 3 tenths. Let's go on some more. Here's a fraction, 2 and 7 hundredths, here's 2 and 7 tenths, 2 and 77 hundredths, and we'll write those as decimals. Okay, my whole number part is the same. Now 7 hundredths. Sometimes students make the mistake of just writing 7 there, 2.7. But see, that would be the answer to this one, 2.7. So this is different, it is 2.07, like that. And here we get then 